what is going on everybody you are now tuned in to the bong talk sit down series and i am your host nappy 2000 i want to now introduce you to a very very special guest this man is a legend i would say right now in the man i won't even say it in the making whatsoever this man's a legend <laughs> as we speak i got my man d dot will in the building what's going down bro man hanging like wet clothes and two broke niggas at the swap meet you know what, I'm saying? <laughs> what do you buy at the swap meet by your uh by your 20 white tees there white tees man you know what I'm saying? <laughs> i go to costco for them but you know but you know i gotta get the pro clubs at, at slossing you know what i'm saying What's the brand that uh, Costco is? Uh, Kirkland. Kirkland. Yeah, so I fuck with both. You know what I'm saying? No, I like Kirkland. I fuck with Kirkland. Those yeah. are sweet. Those are sweet. So, bro, tell me what you've been working on lately, man. I know. I know we talk like constantly. Yeah, I know we, you. You, yeah, you. You know what's going on. I know what's going on, but for the people who don't know what's going on, like just what what's going on musically, what you do? Um, I mean, well, you know, recently, I mean, I've been having some stuff with you know Larry and and. Monroe from TFM, you know, stuff dropping like that. You know, I've been doing a lot of stuff with Sledrin, you know, shout out Glitch Realm. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I got my boy DK Slaps and uh, his brother, you know, Measy. We got a studio, you know what I'm saying? That's all I've been working on, man. So like, I mean, even though I've been working on a lot of music, I still been more, more so working on like, you know, um, you know, getting the studio together um, and then, uh, Pretty much just getting all that together. And then, you know, I've been engineering a little bit more and stuff like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So um, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Uh, just trying to get adjusted to, you know, I just moved back to L.A. and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, from Atlanta. You know, I was out there for like a year and a half. In the so. South. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's cool. You know, I got connections out there. Yeah, yeah, for know, sure. I've only been out here like 11, like 11 or 12 days. So, you know back out here you know mm -hmm. so just trying to get adjusted for real that's all i've been working on for real yeah man talk about that talk about the glitch realm and the sledgerin situation for everyone that doesn't know or isn't familiar with that because y'all have been going crazy this year honestly y'all been going crazy yeah. for a long time but yeah. this year and last year especially well all right so so uh the thing was that like sledgerin been following me on twitter for a long time <laughs> and and um you know, like I was, yeah. you know, I had some of my own things going on, but mm -hmm. then like, you know, you know, uh, I was always, you know, with Glitch Realm and stuff, but then I had my own brand for a, a quick second. Right. But you know, I was like, man, you know what? Like, I'm gonna just keep doing this Glitch Realm shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's just like me and Sledgering, like not only, uh, you know, and the rest of the gang, like not only we, we uh, not only we producers, but we're also sound designers. You know what I'm saying? We do stuff that nobody else does. We use drum kits that nobody else uses. Um, just man, and and then we make presets. We you know we do all type of stuff. We got sound stores like for producers. Like you know what I'm saying we the we the producers producers. You know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. <laughs> like for real for real. Like, yeah. No, I, yeah. you're the only person that I know. <laughs> <laughs> that got like every single individual sound for your beat yeah, really like you got the little clicks you got the random the random basses the 808s yeah. bro talk about the sounds talk talk about sound uh, designing because not yeah. many people sound design when making a beat you Man, know what I'll i mean be, i'll be glad to talk about this <laughs> because like everybody in the game is using like everybody will drop a drum kit right like let, 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 let i'm gonna just talk to the nerds about this one because, right right like, <laughs> like everybody be using the drum kits that everybody be using like so for instance like say if a producer drop a drum kit this is why the game fucked up right now because say a producer drop a drum kit and there's nothing custom in there he's just grabbing them from other packs you know what i'm saying like this, we in a computer age, so like everybody's just copying and pasting everything. You know what I'm saying? And they not doing enough sound designing. They not making enough, you know, drums. And you know what I'm saying? It's not enough of that out there. So that's where I come in. That's where me and Sledgerin come in. We all been sound designing, you know what I'm saying? I done sound design for Lex Luger and, you know, a lot of other people, you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, people like, People need to get more into sound designing because 
that's how you sound like yourself. Like when I got in this game, I made sure that I sounded like myself. And I told myself before I even put anything out, I have to have my own set of drums and all that. So that's what I did. And I've been different ever since, you know what I'm saying? So it's important y'all, like for real. No, and, and two, to promote something, you can buy some of his kits as well. No, uh, yeah, I got, yeah. I got a, I got a link in my bio on my Instagram, like my little link tree or whatever. <laughs> But my sound store is there, you know, and and every every day I'm, you know, making sales. So it's, it's cool. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like everybody knows what's going on. You right. Know what I'm so. Yeah. And uh, you go live. You let people know. Yeah. I, I like when you flex on your live. Sometimes <laughs> you got to sometimes you got to let niggas know, bro. You got to yeah. you got to you got to do that. I mean, like, like, bro, like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, you know, I grew up skateboarding and shit. So, like, I'm, I'm definitely humble. But like sometimes in this game. <laughs> In this game, when you get in the music game, like sometimes you really do got to talk your shit, but you know, keep it humble. Like when you're around people, of course. You know right, right. Saying? Sometimes you get on that live or whatever the Instagram live, you got to talk your shit <laughs> because <laughs> niggas, niggas like taking you as like a sucker or something. But you got to let you got to keep reminding these niggas like every couple months, like nigga, I done did this, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do that, but like some people just don't know. They on your live and they just don't know who you are. For real. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you gotta flex. Yeah. Hey man, that's why you got your glasses on right now. <laughs> that's why you <laughs> take your sip, take your sip. Yeah, you got to, man. But you know, I don't smoke, y'all. But you know, it's all good. It's bong talk. If you don't smoke, I'll probably do the smoking for you. Don't even trip. Nah, he gonna do the smoking. Yeah, you know what I mean? Smoke. It's yeah. a it's a good conversation, no problem. Yeah. But too, you you brought up your, your studio and uh, you and DK. Yeah, me, DK, and and, 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 and Chris Meezy. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Talk about that, man. So basically, like we um pretty much like me and DK, like for real, for real, we we've been talking about doing this shit. Like I remember telling him like two years ago, like nigga, get a studio. Like you know, he always told me like, man, I'm tired of working, and you know, mm -hmm. I'm just being a real nigga right now, like so. Like, man, I'm tired of working in a regular job, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, get a studio. Just get a studio. Right. And that nigga did that shit mm -hmm. when I was in Atlanta. Like, mm -hmm. by himself, well, with his brother. Right. And, but, you know, they had a studio before. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I just told him, man, just, man, let's do this shit full time. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's working. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, pretty much, like, now, like, um, you know, the building y'all came to before. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um. You know that building got sold and we just got a new building so yeah pretty much like this you know building got four rooms and stuff we still working on it mm. you know i'm not trying to give too much information about the studio, yeah yeah but at the same time like that's what we doing man like you know you know businessman <laughs> yeah. I first want to give a shout out to all of the sponsors and the people who chose to support this show. I want to give a shout out to Sweets. I want to give a shout out to El Toro Verde, Plain Jane, and Shrubs for contributing to this show as we just continue to grow throughout this process. So this is the point of the interview. Get some water, get a drink. Get your blunts, bubblers, bongs, gravity bongs, joints, backwoods, whatever y'all do. Make sure you drink your water for real. But make sure you're drinking water yeah, most yeah. importantly, though. Coming from Water Wheel. He knows. You know. He knows. So, you know, let me let me get this right. I, you know, I always got to get it right. You, you got to get right? Yeah, I'm going to get right real quick. But you're drinking, though. That's a little different. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. I take my little sip, man, you know. You get a little bit more active on that. What is that drink? Man, really? Man, I'm fronting like it's champagne, but this is the only this is the only glasses I found in here, but it's really, you know, that Casamigos. That Casamigos. <laughs> yeah. That's been claiming souls all year. It look like champagne though from here, right? <laughs> it do. But it ain't bubbling like <laughs> <laughs> it's just it look like some flat champagne. <laughs> it look classy though. No, nah, yes. Yeah, it look know. classy. Ain't no one gonna the only real wine drinks are gonna be like that. Ain't it ain't bubbling though. Yeah, nigga could drink some turmeric juice in that motherfucker in the same glass. <laughs> Everybody, get ready, do your thing, as I 
do mine. I'm gonna do mine too. Bro. I remember the first time I hit a bone. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> like that? Like this? <laughs> yeah. Bro. I remember the first time I hit a bone, bro. <coughs> down there, I hallucinated. You said you hallucinated? Yeah, I, I literally, I literally, I literally did. Yeah, for sure. I was 14. Bro, talk about the new music in the albums you have recently worked on because you've dropped hella shit as of late. Yeah, man, it's just like, oh, man, it's just random stuff, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had the Key Glock come out, uh, the Move Around song on the, uh, I think it was on the album with, with Young Dog, uh, you know, uh, Larry June's Orange Print album, The Still Cooking, you know, basically almost the whole thing of Moreau's album. Um, you know, and then working with Young In, I've been focused on my artist Young In. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, we just been dropping tape, tape after tape after tape. And then I got I got so much more going on right now. Like uh, I can't even really think about it right now. You know, when you make a lot of beats, man, like right. a lot of stuff be going on. Like I got a record with uh, Soldier Boy and Trill Sammy coming out. Ooh. Um, I got man, I can't even really remember everything. You know what I'm saying? Like. I can't remember everything that's going on right now, but you know, I'm working, you know, for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I know you do, because when I seen y'all make a beat, bro, yeah. I've it, I've never seen anyone make a beat in 15 to 20 minutes, but yeah. that intricate of a beat with everything that you put on it, that is, yeah. it, it's impressive. Yeah, bro, man, <laughs> I, I basically, thank you. I, be, I basically trained myself, you know, back in like 2011 to like make 10 beats a day. I used to wake up in the morning. I used to uh, set my alarm for, from eight in the morning. You know, I get ready, you know, take a shower and, and you know, eat whatever. And by 10 o'clock, I'll go to the garage, you know, make beats till like 10, 10 30. And then, you know, um, and that'll be it. But like, I had to train myself to go way faster than that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get, like, uh, there was a point in time where, you know, I was hungry, I was real hungry, and I had to get five beats in, in an hour done. You know what I'm mm. Like, I could do it, like, I could do it now, but I take a little more time and stuff since I've been playing keys and stuff more. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, anybody can make beats fast, but yeah. is it gonna be good? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I take a little more time right now. You know what I'm saying? You do be on the keys like Stevie Wonder now. I I, I do I do see it. like yeah, talk about that, man. I mean I mean, you know, I don't know I don't know music theory, but I can hear everything by ear. Yeah. So like, you know, sometimes like, you know, I, in, 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 in like an eight bar or four bar, you know, count, I can try to play something and then just build on top of that. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't really nothing too complicated or nothing like that, but you know, um, yeah, DJ Fresh told me to learn music theory, though, because, you know, like, <laughs> it, yeah, he told me that, so I got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that man be playing the keys, like, like for real, be playing the keys. I ain't going to lie. He's, he, he definitely became one of my favorite producers uh, mm -hmm. today because everybody today, man, like, everybody today sound the same, bro, and I just I don't like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, so somebody like him or Sledrin or, you know, you know, like myself, I'm not, I don't mean to toot my own horn and shit, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, those type of producers, man, like, mm -hmm. they, they going crazy right now, you know what I'm saying? So, right. Yeah. But Anybody nah. who got their own sound. Yeah, exactly. You you talk about that a lot. He was like, have your own sound. You have to, bro. Like, how else you going to get noticed? Mm -hmm. I mean, it ain't even about getting noticed. It's like, how are you going to stand out? You know what I'm saying? Right. Dude, how are you going to stand out? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and two, I always tell people you're not popping, popping really. And nowadays, if you don't have a tight beat, yeah. you got a lot of tight beats. Right, right. That's, what I be telling people. That's what I be telling people. Like, I be like, you know, I be telling people, like, man, if you ain't got a lot of tight beats on YouTube, man, you're not really doing it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And that's just like, you know, like, there's always, like, they used to put me in the category, like, D. Will X TM88 X Southside tight beat. Right. Lex Luger type beat, you know. They've been doing that for years, bro. They still do it to this day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Nobody got it right. 
That's the thing about my sounds. Nobody could get it right. They could get everybody else's right. They could get 808 Mafia sound right. They could, you know, all that. But they can't get mine right because they, they ain't got the secret drum kits that I be using. Right. You know what I'm so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember you were going through it. You were like, this one's close. Yeah, yeah. This is close. Yeah, yeah. And I be doing the beat reviews and shit. Yeah, yeah. But no, that's tight though. That's but that's the point though. Like you shouldn't have anyone be able to imitate it whatsoever. Right, right, right. Real talk, man. Real talk, man. Good. Once again, I want to give a big, big thank you to the sponsors of the show: Sweets, El Toro Verde, Plain Jane, and also Shrubs for partnering up with me for Bong Talk to do these sit downs. I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. I really appreciate you guys and everyone that's tuned in from Instagram Live to now these. We're going to do a lot, a lot more of these. I love having these conversations with people. It's just going to be yeah. people I know, like this man right here with the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. You know how we do this. You know?